What is going on? I am super tall as you know, so I'm gonna have to kinda bend my knees a little bit, but we're gonna change out in pen, do it real quick, since I am due for it, as you can tell. I zoom in there. Uh, that red line at the end is when the insulin ends. It's It looks like it's actually gone. It looks like it's past due, so we're gonna switch that out. I'm gonna show you what two versions of this look like. Right, we got one on the bottom. That one's out. One on the top is fresh. So that's just an example to give you. I'm swapping out the fresh one. So your first step, if you're on the end pen, take the cap off. Now number two, I, I am assuming there's a unit or two left in there, but I don't wanna have to switch this out in the middle of the dose. So I'm doing it now when it looks like, again, it looks like I'm eyeballing it, that it's out, I'm gonna guess. So first step, twist it. Twist the, uh, the plastic piece here, get that to focus. There you go, slides right off. Now we have this little spring, okay? And we have the empty insulin cartridge. Get that to focus on it, there we go. So we're gonna set that aside, gonna set this down, hold on to this, because that is where the new insulin cartridge goes. And before we put it in, of course, we're gonna inspect it and make sure it doesn't have any uh, cracks or whatever, I don't know. It looks fine, make sure it's not expired. This expires in five months, so we're good. We're gonna slide it in there, good to go. Now, we grab the plunger, right? What we're gonna do, grab here on the end, you can hear it, okay? Make sure that's closed. Grab the end and grab this side as well. I'm gonna let that focus on there so you can see what's going on. And turn counterclockwise, which is, for me, it's to the left. <laughs> you're gonna turn it all the way, you can do as fast as you want, okay? You want all the way in so that it doesn't mess it up. It's a long way to twist, especially if you go all the way like me. All right, we're almost there. So you can tell we're almost there, we're, we're on, we're getting close. And it's probably close enough. As you can see, much different. So the plunger before is out to here. Now it's all the way back in, ready to go. Check that out, cool. Reason we hold onto this is so it doesn't twist all the way back out and it, this just becomes a pain. So now we hold onto this, we're gonna grab our insulin in the cartridge, put them together, and then line them up. Looks like it's exactly the right amount. I'm going to twist until I hear a click. Ready? Let's let it focus. Whoops. Okay, that wasn't enough twisting. It won't go. So, we're gonna twist a tiny bit more. That's a good indicator that it wasn't enough. All right, that looks like it's good now. So, back in and twist until we hear a click. Hear that? Cool. So, now we're back to here. What we're gonna do now is we're going to grab a needle, okay? Fresh needle. We're gonna stick that on the end there. And I'm gonna remove the safety cap so we have an actual needle, as you can tell. There we go. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dose this out one or two units at a time. I'm going to push it through until I see insulin. What we're doing is we're connecting the plunger to the actual cartridge, okay? So, one or two units. I'm gonna do two units at a time because I can tell there's some space. Two units, still got space. Two units, still got space. Two units, still got space. As you can tell, this could go on for a while if you, if you push it all the way in like I did. There we go. You can see there, we have insulin drops. Boom, right there. So that now is primed. You are good to go. So what I can do now is take the needle off or I can give my injection if I was ready to give a bolus, right? Uh, I am not. I was doing this so that I could wake up tomorrow morning and have an in pen that's ready to go. I'm gonna put this cap back on here and not stab myself, hopefully. There we go. And what's really cool about the end pen is you can put the cap on with the needle already attached. So now, important, do not forget this part. Go into your app and make sure that you measure all of those, or not measure, but document those in the logbook as prime doses, not as actual doses. So it's a prime, it's not a dose. Otherwise, it's gonna think that I have 10 units on board right now. You don't want that. So, hope this was helpful. Let me know, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, for more valuable resources for type 1 diabetes, go over to ftfwarrior.com. Have a great week and keep up the fight.